So why are people saying this to her? I know everyone's talked about that, but here's Ramsey, who we thought was one of the, you know, he, he never got caught up in fool's activities. And here he is. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're right. You're gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Aren't you done with that, Leslie? Or are you too stupid? You're either too stupid or you know, but you don't say anything. So either way, it's time. It's time for you to either go, I don't know that I'm ugly. Or to be like, listen, I appreciate it. I don't need your pity. But to have this go on forever is ridiculous. And it's a, a violation of our world's reality. And that's why it's a problem. It's not like, oh, I want people to tell Leslie she's a monster from the bottom of the ink pods. No, it's just respect reality, respect truth, respect honesty. You don't have to be mean, but you also don't have to be the opposite and lie. You know, it distorts. Here we go. We should uh, date. No. Uh, <laughs> Stop it. Uh, now, Grits, you're a big lover of them, right? Huh? Grits, you love Oh, how well, with some cheese. How well do you know your grits? Oh, I know my grits. Ready for a little competition? Woo! Thank you. Right. Yeah. right. I love competitions. Oh, five right. different types. Okay, so okay. They're all flavored with different exciting okay. flavors. Okay. So wise. <laughs> he's What's feeding that her. one? All right, so now he's got like uh, five different little jars of mysterious foods, and he's feeding them to Leslie, and she's got to guess what foods they are. And he's holding up the card to the audience. So the first thing he fed her was white cheddar cheese. And he goes, what is it? And she has to guess. So here it is. Here's the little bit. <laughs> butter. That's butter. No, no, no. no. Come on. Think of rich, mature. Leslie. <laughs> Leslie. Oh, it does taste like white cheese. White cheddar. <laughs> next one. Okay, here's the okay. next one. <laughs> Feeding her. What's in there? Some gummy. Gummy? It's squid. Oh, gummy. Like, it was like alive about rats? 30 seconds ago. Watch this. Oh! Oh! Right. It's squid. You tricked me! Now he's feeding this her another one. This one you love. This is one of my favorite. Durian favorite. fruit. <laughs> she hates it all. She hates all what the food. What is it? No. Look at her. What about Durian fruit? <laughs> It's a plug. Is that Duran Duran? It's, it's a plug. Uh oh. Ah, it's They're bleeping. <laughs> okay, this what's one you like, one of my favorites. What's this? What's this? this, is, this we're going to soften it up a little bit, make it a little bit more uh, exciting. Oh, all right. It tastes like flowers. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Lychee. Right, last Some one. Leeches? <laughs> Special Some leeches? Special one. Leeches? Special one. What? Here's the last this, one. That don't look like grits there. No, no, no. I promise you. I promise you. This one will love. This Listen, one. it's grasshoppers. One grasshoppers. Watch. He fed her grasshoppers without her knowing. Watch. And then he shows her. She faints. No! We need you. 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 The beautiful, glamorous uh, Leslie Jones. There she was. You're sick. Now, now that you know, okay, that was a bit from the show. I got to show you what he's been doing. So like I said, Gordon Ramsay has been really mean to people. He's been saying a bunch of shit to people. He wipes his hands on people's shirts. He did something on this episode that I can't let go. In this one, he was with the OC's Rachel Bilson. Do you remember her? The brown-haired girl, she's similar to Six from the show Blossom. Rachel Bilson, Bison, she's a nobody. But he's with her, and they're having, they have all these competitions on the show. And this one is, who could build the biggest ice cream cone? Him or Rachel Bilson? They have 45 seconds on the clock, and they hold an ice cream cone, and they have to scoop whoever could scoop the most ice cream scoops. Wins. So they're competing, and it's a fun game. Now, I'm going to give you away the end of this. At the end of this, so remember, there's audience members, just regular people, and they're all mixed in, and they're all around and watching. 
At the end of this, this is no joke, Gordon Ramsay takes his ice cream cone that he builds and smashes it, a full ice cream cone, on some Indian guy's head. And the Indian guy gets really mad. Ramsey's out of control. Check this clip out. No one else is going to show you this. Here it is. Here. Okay, ready? What? Are what? you ready? In. I'm ready. They're going to do, they're Three, building two, the ice cream cone. Yeah. Watch it. One, scoot. Go. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry. One. Go. Let's go, let's go. So they're competing. Oh, they're... Oh, dear, dear. Gordon Ramsay's got chocolate ice cream and it's all melted and he's trying to get scoops on there. You can see audience members all around. Watch this. It's a really dumb game. There we go. They're scooping. 20 seconds on the clock. Now look at this guy. Just an audience member sitting over there. Watch him. Eight, seven, six. Oops. Okay. Come on. So they're scooping. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay. Yay! Very funny. Right, so they're, all their ice cream is falling off, and they're going to count how many scoops each one got. Here we go. How many? Uh, 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 five. Oh, uh, I've got five. Oh, boy. Would you like an ice cream? Watch. Would you like an ice cream? He says this to some Indian guy sitting in the crowd. Watch this. Would you like ice cream? And the guy goes, yeah. Watch what he does. <laughs> Smashes it all over the guy's head. I'm going to show you this again. This is too far. Imagine if you went to a talk show and someone smashed an ice cream cone on your head. Wouldn't that be something that makes you want to punch? I don't think that's funny, especially because he's been doing a lot of stuff like this. Hold on, I had to uh, minimize this to get the uh, player. Let me show you this again here. Okay, he's got the ice cream cone, and watch this guy's reaction. This isn't, like, set up. Gordon Ramsay thinks this is funny to, like, do stuff. He, like, poured water on a guy once. If I was sitting there in the crowd, I, I really, if someone hit and put an ice cream cone on my head while I was out at an event like this and ruined my clothes and got me covered in ice cream. Watch this. Oh, yes, please. Yes. But, oh, oh, and look at that. And you can't say anything. You're in Gordon's house. Yeah, everyone's saying that's messed up. That's mental. It's not a rehearsed bit. I promise you. He's been doing, I've been watching. He's been doing a ton of stuff like this. It's not rehearsed. Because this guy is pissed. Uh-oh, what happened here? What the fuck? Uh, watch this again. He gets pissed. I mean, he has like tears in his eyes, this guy, and he can't say anything. Watch. Here we go. It's not rehearsed. Everything, you know, I don't like the people who like everything we show. They go, it's a work, rehearsed, fake. It's not. None of these people do fake bits. And what kind of fake bit is it to smash an ice cream cone on a guy's head? I mean, if they were setting that up, there would have to be a boardroom like, okay, at the end of the bit, you smash ice cream all over like some innocent bystander in the audience. No, ex and no uh, producer would be like, people will love that thinking it's real like no one that would make ramsey look bad this was him live on the spot just trying to like get a laugh at the end of his bit and he smashes an ice cream cone on a guy's head watch this it's really <laughs> fucked up Oh, boy. Was that like an ice cream? Oh, yes, yes. Bam! Look at this guy. He's pissed. <laughs> He's hot. We're going to just play down the kitchen and find out tonight's winner. Do not go anywhere. Okay. Imagine if you had to sit there the rest of the night with chocolate ice cream all over your head. I'd be fucking mad. And I'm telling you, he's done this a number of times with different things. And that's not a funny thing. Like, no one should laugh at that. If I saw somebody smash an ice cream cone in someone's head, it's not like a thing that you do. It's not like a common goof. A whole thing of cold ice cream all over your head? That's fucked up. It's not even similar to a pie in the face, and I'll tell you why. Someone says, similar to the pie in the face. No. Pie in the face is a traditional comedy gag.
everyone knows that if there's a whipped cream pie in a pan, eh, probably someone's getting pied in the face. It's it's uh, predictable. You know that that's a possibility. If I'm sitting next to Gordon Ramsay and he's making ice cream cones, I don't expect in any way to be accosted, hit, assaulted with ice cream by him. That's why it's fucked up. And this guy's sitting there, and, and he's Mexican or Indian. He's in his best dress clothes. And now he's going to spend the rest of the night three hours with sticky ice cream all over. I mean, I'd be fucking pissed. So we're going to keep an eye on this. There's a new segment on the show, Ramsey Watch. Although, saw someone in the chat that says Ramsey isn't a fool. I'm not saying he's a fool. Not every piece of content is, oh, this guy's a fool. He needs to be brought up. But I don't know about you. You smash ice cream on a man who's not expecting it, that's fucked up. And there's tons more, and I'm going to pull them for you. So there it is. This is the introduction. To right. That guy did not want that. Trust me. You asked for it, sprinkles. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Cup. That's the guys we need to catch up. All right. There it was. The F word. And I suggest you watch that show. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun. Um, I smell scripted reality. Ugh, enough with you. What's the point? Everything's so scripted to you. Um, Ramsey would cry if somebody punched him. No, no, no. He's very tough. LOL. He's Mexican or Indian. Yeah, he's Mexican or Indian. By the way, I kind of understand what the people on the alt-right are getting to now. It's getting real Mexican or Indian out there. And it's not a very joyful place. All right, that's enough of that. I'm moving on. I'm not getting into that again, but I'm just letting you know. I kind of understand where people are coming from, where they say, hey, does it really have to be Mexico in my small town? Because it's kind of shitty. All right, that's enough of that. That's all you need to know about that. Uh, we're watching you, Ramsey. Yes. Okay. The Gino tapes. Are you guys ready for this? We want the tapes. 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 You're getting them. We want the tapes. Uh, Mike's Augustus Invictus now. I don't know what that is. I know Augustus Gloop. Very similar to the ice cream situation where, uh, Wow, Alt Mike. All I'm saying is that it really is getting bad. And this is really not America anymore. It's kind of India, Mexico, and Saddam land. It really, and they're not the best. They're rapists, they're bringing drugs. Uh, and some of them. Are good people like this guy at the bank was half Indian. He seemed okay. But again, his slacks. I judge people on their slacks. If you're wearing brown, thin dress pants that look super cheap, I don't want you in America. How about that? Not about race. If you're wearing brown, thin slacks and they're baggy and you smell like shit, then I don't want you in America. And that doesn't matter if you're white, brown, Puerto Rican, or Haitian. How about that? That's an easier way to do it because you know who wears a lot of slacks? Indians. I can't get into it. But I'm telling you, as I go out more and more, it's all you see. It's all you see. And they don't speak English and they don't, they all smell and they look disgusting. Like, I, I'm not kidding. I was behind an Indian woman today walking. And she was like the penguin waddling back and forth. And I'm not kidding. I'm right behind her. And she goes, an old Indian woman, fat as fuck, waddling. And she goes, right in front of my Yeezys. I said, oh, what's wrong with you? And she didn't even, she just keeps spitting. What is an old one? Old women shouldn't be spitting. In India, I guess that's a thing. And she was like, Looked like an elephant. Her her arms were like elephant arms. And I go, isn't like Indian food like good food for you? What are they eating to get like this? 
what could an Indian person be eating that gives them this horrendous acne and these like bulging blobs of gray fat? I, I, I just don't know what to do. And he, it's disgusting. It makes me like hate. I don't know what to do. And then you see that and you go, oh, no, you're supposed to love their gray. And if I went up to that woman and go, hi, how are you today? She'll go, blah, 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 blah. Oh, what a wonderful uh, addition to the land. I mean, it's out of control. So I get what they're saying, but you can't be mad. Just have to wait it out. Move to a very expensive neighborhood. That's my suggestion. And don't go to the, any of the other neighborhoods. And then you'll be like, wow, life pretty much rules. But if you live in a neighborhood like this, oh, my God. And that's what the people don't know. I mean, they really don't know. When you don't live in a neighborhood that's infested, it seems like people are really out of line uh, with their racism. But, oh, man, I dare you to live here for a few weeks and then tell me that you want Oh, as many of them to come in as possible. Yeah, this is great. I really like when they open up a shop that sells only broken, old, dirty plastic bowls. Oof. I don't know what to do. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't say anything. This is even too much. But good God, I mean, they're rotting corpses. Just aimlessly walking in the summer's heat farting, shitting, and pissing. And it's like the ultimatum. Oof. Okay, I got to change topics immediately. Man, they're like fleas. We've seen the David rapes tapes, yes. I live in a rich suburb and we still have stinky B.O. packs, they say. I'm telling you. And Kumail wants to go, they are... It is crazy that the Nazis want to get there. No. It's crazy that you're wearing a brown, satin, cheap mumu spitting all over this. I, I can't believe the people that I see. And these are supposed to be respected grandmothers? If my grandma ever spit in front of me, I would knock her head off with a shovel. Seriously. All right, um, Gino tapes. We want the tapes! We want the tapes! <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> now I understand Proud Boys. I want to be a Proud Boy. Do you think they would let me in? Uh, this is crazy. So, Gino Disconte, who we all know, I'm going to lead you up to this. couple things about uh, Gino here. Um, first of all, the Legion of Skanks, the show that I'm going to be hosting soon. Remember, I'm taking over for Big, Big J. Owen Kersum. I'm Legion of Skanks. I'm going to make the show a little bit better, a little bit cooler. This is a big announcement. Spread the rumor. Legion of Skanks has dissed Gino Disconte about four or five times over the last couple months. Elliot LeCates in the Bring Back Group found another one. Here's another one from Legion of Skanks dissing Gino Disconte. And these are real disses. Listen to this. With you. And it would drive me crazy to do that. But don't you kind of look at the guy who maybe you think is like a hack or whatever, 